Hello, St. Mark's. I'm so excited that we continued the tradition of the St. Mark's graduating seniors to speak. And I know what they are going to say is going to be something special and you'll enjoy. So without further ado, here is the St. Mark's Church and Schools graduates for 2020. Good morning, St. Mark's. My name is Alyssa Stevens. A lot of you might know me as Alex's little sister, but my name is Alyssa. I'm 18 years old and I will be graduating from Palm Beach State College with my associate's degree in sociology. And then I'll be graduating from Inlet Grove Community High School. So I will be graduating from college before high school. And then after I graduate, I'll be attending the American University of Rome in Rome, Italy, where I will be studying international relations. There's many things that I've learned from St. Mark's that have definitely shaped my character and that I will that I will most definitely be continuing to use as I, you know, get older and go through new experiences. Um, and I think the number one thing that I've definitely learned is helping the community. So, I mean, and I, I have to thank my mom a lot for that because when we were little, you know, she used to start us out at the soup kitchen and we would help feed the homeless and then there were, the, you know, the mission trips that we would go on, you know, to help the community and really just helping other people and helping the community. Some of my favorite moments were my mission trips. Um, when I was Mary in the live nativity scene at my church. Some of my other favorite moments are um, acolyting and going to the acolyte festival. When I think of my mission trips, there's really two of them that really stand out to me. So my first mission trip, um, we were helping one of our community members named Pensacola. Unfortunately, she already passed, but we were helping her fix her roof in her house. And it was, I think it was the night before our last day on the mission trip. And she was, we were in the Peace Chapel and she was, you know, thanking us and she, she had tears in her eyes and she was thanking us and she said, you know, don't look up, don't look down, don't look to the sides, don't look back, keep looking at God, keep looking forward. So that, that's something that really stuck with me. Um, uh, my second, or no, my third mission trip to New York was another really impactful trip for me. We were doing this homeless uh, simulation and we broke up into groups and we went to different places in New York. In my group, we stumbled upon a homeless woman and her um, child and her daughter. And we sat down, we had a conversation with them and we left for like maybe 30 minutes to an hour to go and get some pizza and then come back and we would share or, and have dinner with them with the pizza. Um, and when we came back, they were gone and they had left a note on the church steps because that's where they were. And they said that the people at the church told them that they had to move and that they didn't want them in front of their church. But they said that they were happy to meet us. And I was really happy to meet them because it was just, you know, before we go on the mission trips, we always look at the statistics of how many homeless people there are, how many homeless kids there are in these areas where we go. And, you know, hearing about the statistics isn't the same as seeing you know not to say that they're a statistic but actually seeing you know an actual homeless person a actual homeless girl who is younger than me going through this it was really impactful and it made me even really grateful you know to meet them some important figures to me at um, st mark's are of course father groth and father cook they're always very supportive of me they're always you know checking up on me and I really appreciate that especially when my family has gone through so many hard times um, they're always thinking about us you know uh, I mean there have been moments where we've had to leave our home you know my mom's in the hospital sometimes and I want to thank them so much for that another person that I want to thank is Miss Lenny she really helped me become the acolyte that I am it helped me become more interested in acolyting and stay committed and you know she's always just very sweet to me very nice to me you know she's always complimenting me so I just wanted to thank her I do consider her definitely a part of my church family um, who else? Um, another person that I wanted to thank is Dave of course Dave um, just thank you 
for trying to get me out of my comfort zone on the mission trips, even though I would resist. Um, at the time, I didn't see the importance of it, but now I do, and it's really it helped me open myself up to new experiences and other people. So I do want to thank you for pushing me and getting me out of my comfort zone. Thank you. I also just want to thank the many friends that I've made, that my family has made at think, at St. Mark's. So uh, Gail Martin, she's definitely like a second mother to me. Uh, Karen Curlew. Um, Scott and Maury and Robin. Um, just thank you for becoming our friends and making us feel more in touch with the community. Um, I also want to thank Rika and her family and just for always being nice to us and you know showing us acceptance so thank you. To the leaders of my generation and the you know kid leaders of my community um, I just want to say congratulations and I wish you nothing but the best you know especially the kids from where I'm from, you know, Rivera Beach. I know it feels like we'll never make it out, but here we are, you know, making it out and doing the best that we can and making our dreams come true to make a better future. So congratulations, class 2020. Good morning, St. Mark's. How is everyone doing? I hope well. Right now, I'm here in my backyard. What a nice place to talk about my time at St. Mark's. As much as I would like to be at the pulpit presenting this live, we will all reconvene soon because this too will pass. My name is Dylan G. Menneker, 2016 St. Mark's alumni, and I've been part of the church and school since the fall of 2007, when I started kindergarten in Mrs. Tomes' class. I will be graduating Oxbridge Academy and will be attending Flagler College in St. Augustine in the fall to pursue a degree in English with a minor in education. When I first arrived at St. Mark's over 13 years ago, I had no idea what a privilege and honor it was to attend this amazing school. St. Mark's' motto is shining as a beacon of faith, hope, and light in the community. And St. Mark's has fully prepared me to shine in the world as I move on to the next stage in my life. There are many things that St. Mark's has prepared me for, from seeing my talents, to allowing me to hone in on my creativity and to further grow my expertise in my studies. When I received my diploma at St. Mark's, I knew I was ready for high school. As I'm standing here today, I'm wearing right here a St. Mark's honor pin. This honor pin represents the honor code that St. Mark's introduced when I was in middle school. This honor code helped further my ability to grow in the community of trust and kindness that I know St. Mark's to be. It's funny, when you are in class and you're being taught MLA format, which is a proper way to hedge your paper when you're writing an essay, you think of it as something that you have to do for the assignment. You have to write your name a certain way on the paper. But when I had an essay to write in ninth grade and my teacher was introducing MLA format, I knew it. I knew MLA format. I knew how to write a works cited citation page. And I knew grammar. Thank you, Ms. Robeson. As I fast forward to this time right now, I'm proud to say that I have released a trilogy, a trilogy before graduating high school. The Superhero Driver series is something that has helped me explore my inner imagination and creativity. I was proud to create the slogan for my series and a brand that helped me shine my creativity. One passion, two drivers, one victory. That came to fruition in the fall of 2016 in ninth grade. This shows me how to write a really great story. I know how to write a really great story. I always knew, and St. Mark's even helped me further know this, if you put your mind to something, you can do it. Taking a part in science fair in 7th grade and 8th grade with Mrs. Robeson, Mrs. Quinlevin, and Mrs. Lubeck was although an undertaking to complete a two-month project, it taught patience, courage, 
and a testament to your ability to stick to something. In eighth grade, I made it to county and won third place. Thank you. That has helped me with many projects, science fair, large or small, and especially having the patience of writing and editing a book. As you look at this time we are currently in, it wasn't something that we were expecting or even knew that we would be viewing the Sunday services on live stream and talking to our teachers over a virtual platform. For right now, this is a different approach to life. When I watched the first YouTube video called Music Monday that introduced the St. Mark's Connected series, I just nodded to myself and said, this is St. Mark's. As we are seeing the daily connected emails and videos with Father Cook and Father Groff virtually performing the lower school and middle school chapel services and with Miss Cash continuing to present the chapel awards to the lower school, this is St. Mark's. As we walk past St. Mark's at night, we see the LED lights illuminating the cross at night onto Burns Road, which shows that St. Mark's is something that we are fortunate to be a part of. Thank you, St. Mark's. Thank you for being the beacon of shining light in the community. Like in F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, St. Mark's is the green light. The green light that will always support, give, and comfort the community. And knowing that faith, kindness, confidence, hope, and light are here and always will be. St. Mark's will always be a place that we were able to come back to even if it is only to say hi for a second, St. Mark's will always be here. Thank you, St. Mark's faculty and staff. Thank you, Father Cook, Father Groff, and Deacon Mimi for helping to even further make St. Mark's a beacon of faith, hope, and light. Thank you. Hi, St. Mark's community. My name is Katherine Duncan, and I will be graduating from the Benjamin School this year. In the fall, I will be attending Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas, where I will be double majoring in business and fashion media. My years at St. Mark's began in the first grade in Mrs. Giblin's class and continued until I graduated from St. Mark's in 2016. I am so happy that I am able to come on here and thank St. Mark's for providing me with a solid moral foundation that I've been able to grow in my high school years and will continue to grow throughout the rest of my life. St. Mark's has given me relationships that I will keep forever, whether it be lifelong friendships that started in the halls of St. Mark's or relationships with teachers that go far beyond the classroom. I'll always consider myself one of Mrs. Colucci's Ducklings or Mrs. Harvey's Knights. One of the most rewarding classes at St. Mark's was my 8th grade ethics class with Mrs. McCoy. Not only did I learn so much about character and morality in this class, but I learned more about myself. I remember one day in class, I had already seen one of the movies she was showing, so I decided to get ahead on homework. Mrs. McCoy stopped the movie and asked the class if you had started your homework to throw it in the trash. I was not the only one doing my homework during this time, but I was the first to get up from my seat and throw it in the trash. That's when I knew the importance of character in the smallest of situations. I especially want to shout out Miss McCoy for not only being there for me in my middle school years, but all throughout my high school years. She was always someone that I could go to talk to about anything. I remember one day I was babysitting for her, and I was also having some typical high school girl drama, and the next day she texted me to check up on me. I will always have a special connection with Mrs. McCoy. Overall, I would say something that really made St. Mark so special was the overwhelming sense of community that brought everyone together. From stepping foot on campus, St. Mark's instilled in me the importance of inclusivity, even if someone isn't exactly like you. I'm not going to lie, there were some Fridays that I was definitely half asleep in Eucharist, but I do remember that Father Cook kept talking about some golden rule. This golden rule served as a daily reminder for me to always do the kind thing and treat others with respect. I am proud to say that I continue to practice the golden rule that St. Mark's taught me every day. Lastly, I want to thank Mrs. Quinlevin, Mrs. Lubeck, Mrs. Robeson, Ms. Cash, Ms. Stampar, Mr. Henry, Dave, Father Groff, and Mrs. Fennell for being a special part of my development at St. Mark's. I may be a Benjamin Buck and an SMU Mustang now, but I will always consider myself a St. Mark's Lion. Hi, uh, my name is Matthew Mullings, and I'm graduating from Dwyer High School, and I will be attending the University of Florida, where I'll be studying business. Uh, I wanted to make this video just to thank St. Mark's for everything they've done for me. Um, I've been on two different mission trips with them, the first of which we went to New York, the second of which we went to Costa Rica, 
uh, both were life-changing experiences for me and the friendships I made, the relationships I made there uh, are some of the best that I have and some of which I'll never forget. Um, of the two, we went to Costa Rica, which was my personal favorite. Uh, when they told me that we, we were going to be playing soccer with the kids, myself being an avid soccer player, decided since we're doing so much good already, why not do more? Uh, so I decided to gather up soccer balls, cleats, shin guards, socks, anything a soccer player would want. Um, we filled up three big duffel bags and brought them down with us to Costa Rica. Uh, when we arrived, it was, uh, it, it left me speechless. The, the look on the kids' faces, the pure joy, the happiness that we brought them, just from giving them things that myself personally before the experience took for granted every day. I see soccer balls everywhere. I didn't realize how lucky I was. Just the look on their faces itself gave me all the joy I needed. Uh, myself along with Father Groff and Dave Stankiewicz handed them out and once we handed it out we started playing with them and the friendships I made I have a little bit of Spanish but not too much but just enough to communicate with them uh, I connected with them via social media and to this day I communicate with them every day uh, those friendships I'd never have without St. Mark's and St. Mark's has done so much for me as a person those mission trips made me a more empathetic, a more caring, a more compassionate person. And I, I can't thank St. Mark's enough. I can't thank Father Groff, Dave, anyone in the organization enough. It truly changed my life. And without St. Mark's, I wouldn't be nearly as good of a person than I am today. Thank you. Hello, my name is Isabel Samarias and I'm an alumni from the class of 2016 at St. Mark's. I will be graduating from the Benjamin School and I'll be attending New York University Tisch School of the Arts for a BFA degree in theater in the fall. When I first arrived at St. Mark's, little did I know that I was going to leave St. Mark's as a performer. During my seventh grade year, the stage in Coleman Hall opened and St. Mark's launched its performing arts program. I was very fortunate to be cast in the first production on that stage, The Little Mermaid. Ever since my first production, I have fallen head over heels in love with performing. I participated in every show St. Mark's offered me throughout my middle school career and continued my love of theater throughout high school and now going into college. I plan to pursue a degree in theater and also continue it as a career. St. Mark's gave me that gift, a gift that I didn't even know I had, and I'm internally grateful for that. Good morning, my name is Sarah Caroline Curl, and next week I will be graduating from the Benjamin School. This fall, I will be attending the Honors College at Ole Miss, where I will be majoring in Integrated Marketing Communications and minoring in Environmental Studies. I was fortunate to attend St. Mark's from fourth through eighth grade. And during my five years there, I was always encouraged by my teachers to try as many new things as I could that excited me. Attending school at St. Mark's gave me lifelong friends, ongoing relationships with teachers like Mrs. McCoy, Mrs. Quinlivan, and Ms. Robeson, and the necessary skills and values to succeed in life. But my time at St. Mark's did not end when I graduated four years ago. Even though I may not be a student at St. Mark's anymore, I'm still a member of this church and St. Mark's will always be a part of me as it is truly a home. When I entered high school, I continued with youth group, but also began confirmation class, which allowed me to meet new people and make strong friendships, which I know will last forever. I have great memories all made possible through Dave Stankiewicz and Father Groff, and I will always look back fondly on Sunday night confirmation time, and especially the retreat to Bradenton. It was an amazing weekend in the woods and helped me escape my comfort zone. I remember on the drive singing old songs, conversations at mealtime, our Bible studies, and staying up late playing group games with all of us. Since we had no phones, we had no distractions. We had no noise from the outside world. It was just us and God. We could really disconnect from anything that was holding us back and just connect with each other and grow our relationship with the Lord. Fast forward a few years, when I spent part of my summer on a mission trip to Costa Rica with the St. Mark's Youth Group. This experience helped me to rediscover what truly matters most in life. Trying new things, making new friends, 
helping and loving others, serving the Lord, and living in the moment. My experiences at St. Mark's have not only been the root of my success academically in life so far, but also helped shape me into who I am today, both spiritually and emotionally. St. Mark's will always be a part of me and I am better for it and grateful to everyone at St. Mark's for helping mold me into who I am today. To all the clergy, staff, and teachers, thank you for giving me these opportunities. Thank you for showing me such love and compassion. And thank you for always encouraging and supporting me with such confidence.